Are you ready for some football? Football with F U and an accent. T B O L. That's right. It's MLS. Got requests about MLS. And of course, the Major League Soccer season starts tonight. So I have a few minutes and I broke out the MLS algorithm. And I already sold one of these for $40, I believe. That's the last person that's getting this for $40 because now I remembered all the things I have to do to this to get it accurately. And it is going to be more than $40. Let's talk about MLS for just a few minutes. Um, it's the start of the season tonight here on February 21st. Inter Miami is playing somebody. Hold on, I did, I did do an update. Here it is. There we go. Inter Miami versus Real Salt Lake. It's a real salty lake up there in Utah. The game is in Miami. They do that weird thing about listing the home teams on the top, I think. We might need to ask Google this question just to double check that. MLS Inter Miami, are they home tonight? Miami MLS will play Real Salt Lake today at 8 p.m. Where? Where is that game? <laughs> Where is the real Salt Lake Inter Miami game tonight? All eyes on Messi. Yep, Messi's playing. That's probably why they're doing that. Where is this game? I don't know. I think that Inter Miami is home. It makes sense this time of year. They'd probably be playing in Miami instead of near Park City. Salt Lake's not really that close to Park City. But anyway. Point is, is that we do have a prediction here of three to one Real Salt Lake, apparently. Wow. I didn't expect to see that. But we do have projections for this game. We also have projections for the other games this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. They're all here and they're not great. I wouldn't trust them yet because we're using last year's stats to come up with these predictions. So assuming, you know, let's assume that last year the teams didn't change composition very much and they were exactly the same players as last year, which of course they are not, but assume they are, then you would say something like, as you look at these projected scores, because you don't get a margin differential, like in many of my other algorithms, you just get a projected score. And you also get the number of guys that we are properly including in the lineup. As you can see, these numbers need to be around 11. And if they're not around 11, it means we're missing a bunch of players. Five players we have on DC United. You know what that means? It means DC United has drastically changed their roster from last year. And when you look at the lineups, we have a bunch of errors. Thomas Aviles. I love practicing my Spanish, though. I got to admit that I do like that about soccer. Thomas Aviles. No, no way got poor DC United El Año Pasado. No, he didn't play for the last year, most likely. That's why his name isn't here. So we have to matrix all of their names. That is why I'm not selling this file for $40. That is going to take me many hours to figure out who is on what team, what their abbreviated name is, and to get their name exactly correctly because half the time we got letters in different languages. What is it in Spanish? There's, there, we're missing a letter in Spanish. Is there no Q in Spanish? I think that's what it is. There's no Q. So if somebody's got a Q in their name, they, they're not Spanish. Let's put it that way. We've got to make sure that all of the names are correct and that they're filtering through to the lineups. That involves, unfortunately, a manual process. I've used AI to try to do that, but it doesn't get the names right all exactly, and I still have to end up checking many of them. So as you can see, anytime you see error over here next to a name, that means that this player is not in our list appropriately. Team Mayumba, Mayumba playing for Atlanta, probably his first year. You basically need to add his name and find his name on the matrix and add him in here. Mayumba is going to go like here. It, it's a really annoying process and it's and it, it, it gets updated frequently too. Like soccer is weird where they add guys in the middle of the year, they pull them out of different countries and you have to keep an eye on this. So one thing I noticed about last year was that I stopped updating scores here right around June 24th, it looks like. And I just gave up because I wasn't following it and I wasn't wagering on it. But this algorithm, whenever I checked in on it, it, it actually did pretty well. There's enough games in MLS that it actually does okay. So updating this thing for the new season, it's 
it's going to take a good week or two here until we can get some stats in for the current year and the roster is straightened out. But it does do something based on last year's team stats. So, you know, we would say that Philadelphia has got a good chance of beating Chicago. The line's not awful. Um, that That's the, yeah, that's the wager where they, if they win, they have to win there. So if it's a draw, you don't win with this bet. There's the three lines in soccer. And that's the way that works. So I would say the most probable favorite, as you can see, it's right about here. It's Cincinnati over Toronto. It's thinking they'll win three to one and they're minus 275. There are some underdogs on here and you can get some decent lines, but I'm not going to talk about betting because I ain't betting any of this. If you've caught any of my, my videos that I've done over the last few days, I am not betting anymore. I will hang myself if I bet anymore. You will hear about me dying of suicide. If I bet anymore, I refuse to bet. I'm going to get past my gambling addiction, but Hey, there's nothing wrong with numbers. And I understand many people want the algorithm. So I, I will be getting MLS set up. I will spend time over this weekend as these games occur to get the lineups as accurate as possible so that you can get a good start with this. And while you will still need to update some of these names yourself, as you are updating this file, um, generally, the rest of the updates are pretty quick and pretty easy. You just put the odds in here. You put the team stats in here. You put the player stats in here and uh, an injury report in here. And all those uh, three things, I believe three or four things I just mentioned, they're all available on RotoWire. And they are, you know, available sports betting odds here. And then the fantasy sports under MLS. You need to click all these boxes when you download the stats because we grab every single category. And when we gra grab every single category, we also um, weight every single category. And I ran some formulas to figure out what good weighting percentages were here. And that's where you can see that we have these numbers here that are weighting different stats like goals, assists, uh, all the way down the line. Of course, there could be more formulas done to make that even better throughout the season. But this, this was pretty well tested and worked well. You know, shots inside the box, goals inside the box. These, these numbers were very determinate about how strong a team was. Uh, touches in the box, things like that. Um, and then you get negative uh, weights on things like own goals and dispossesses and aerials. Aerials is weird. Aerials was a negative. Aerials was like, if you're winning a lot of aerials, I guess you're on defense too much, maybe. Like your defense is winning a lot of aerials and heading the ball. And that was a sign that you don't have possession of the ball enough. So it actually was a negative factor when it came to picking wins. So a lot of research I did on this back early in 2023 uh, and 2022, at the end of 2022, messing around with all of these different soccer leagues and getting a good number. But I will say that of all the soccer algorithms, the MLS was the best. And I believe it's because there are the most games in the MLS season. It looks like there are 40, there were, yeah, there were 30, 35 ish games or something like that. I don't know why these aren't exact. If I would have figured every team would have played the same amount of games last year, but I guess they didn't. Maybe there was playoffs or something like that. It looks like it was a 34 game season, most likely. And some of these teams played more. Who won, who won the championship last year? I have no idea. Who won the MLS championship in 2023? Columbus Crew. Yeah. And there you go. Um, and that's probably why they paid 40 games. And yeah, we've got a nice rating. The like kind of like our ratings and our scoring formulas are here, but there's this distribution of all these different stats that that really play into the projected score and everything. So if you're following soccer, if you want one of these algorithms, you better offer me at least 50 bucks. And I think I want a hundred bucks for this one because of all the player matrixing that, that I have to do for this. And I'll update this for the first few weeks of the season. And then you're going to be on your own and I'll do an extensive tutorial video showing you exactly how to update each sheet. Once we get into about the third game of the season, uh, because you need at least two games in here for, I think it to work properly. The only reason it's doing anything right now is because we're using last season stats completely. This is all last season stats for everybody and every team. So of course it's not going to be accurate because you saw how many new players are playing on new teams. We've got four players on Cincinnati. 
However, it does show Cincinnati winning this game because it's using their team stats more so than the players. And so th that's why you can still get a win out of Cincinnati. And there's an argument to be made that soccer is such a team sport that you don't even need the player stats. I mean, I, I know that that goes against a lot of my, my general thinking about algorithms. The more data you can get, the better. But because the player names are so screwed up and it takes so much time to get the roster straight because they keep changing every game that I, I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to just say forget it and just use team stats because the team stats did a good job last year and they're less variable. Like they're, they're a little bit more reasonable and it's a team game. So uh, that's certainly an easier way to run this algorithm. If you want it to be less labor intensive is to just use team stats, which is pretty much what it's doing right now. It's heavily weighted on team stat numbers. So good luck, everybody. I will enjoy listening to whether or not Messi does anything, but it looks like Real Salt Lake should beat them if they're anything like last year. Notice that Inter Miami is a favorite. And uh, I mean, it's because Messi's playing. I know Messi came in and helped them out last year. Uh, and it's the beginning of the year and who knows. But this line about like the like the tie no bet bet for Real Salt Lake, that is what the algorithm says. It says there's a lot of money on Miami because people are expecting Messi to play better. But empirically, according to last year's stats, Real Salt Lake beats them. So for those of you who are interested in wagering on tonight's game, it, it's probably the tie no bet bet for Real Salt Lake, which is probably at a positive line. Um, it doesn't show on here, but I think it shows here. Hold on a second. I think it shows in the queue. Let's see here. Do we have a tie no bet bet? Three, we got goals. Both score, draw, draw pushes. That's this one. Uh, draw pushes for the game that we are looking at, which is Inter-Miami Real Salt Lake. Uh, draw pushes is plus 320 for Real Salt Lake. Does that show up here? No, it's 350 for the draw. Yeah, so the draw push bet of 320, that, that's the bet the algorithm would say to take tonight because it has Real Salt Lake winning this game outright. And in soccer, there's so few goals that you never know what's going to happen. So the game might end up being a tie or they might lose. But th that line is so good for Real Salt Lake winning this game that um, that that's what it would say to take. There you go. Sorry, it's right here. Yeah, money money line draw pushes. Sorry, that, that's an important number. Uh, so that, that's what it would say to play. So we'll see if that happens. All right, good luck. If you want a soccer algorithm, go to KenBraverman.com, contact me. Make me an offer. If your offer is 40 bucks, I'm going to really be upset. <laughs> so offer more than that because this does take some time. All right. Good luck. May all your picks be winning. Y los pelotas in the goal. Go, go real Salt Lake. If you're not skiing, watch them score some goals. And if you're down in Miami, enjoy the game tonight. Um, that's their dog.